All right, it is time for a first impression of two items. Peak Design has sent me two things to review. And in fact, this is the second time that I filmed this because I did a first impression last week as soon as I opened these out of the bag. But then it turns out I had to go somewhere over the weekend and I ended up taking these. So now am I, I'm going to do a first impression with a little bit of experience with these two things. They sent me the Travel Backpack 30 liter and they sent me their wash pouch. So let's talk about these two things. So let's talk about the wash pouch first. So the Peak Design wash pouch looks very similar to the Peak Design Tech Kit. It has a very similar shape, uh, pretty much similar materials on the outside. This is the black colorway. I have a Tech Kit in Sage, and I think it's really nice looking. But really, when it comes to Peak Design stuff, I've always preferred the blue. Even though, after having used this all weekend, I do like that the black looks still really good, like no scuffs or anything along those lines. But anyways, here's the wash pouch. So the wash pouch has a few different places where you can carry. So it has this, this top handle. There's some latch points at the bottom, but it's a very boxy toiletry kit. It has a zipper on the outside for some, it's not deep, but it is long. The zippers on both these things are fantastic. Super smooth, no issues whatsoever. I don't think they're YKK. I think I saw in another video that they're kind of their own proprietary zipper. I'm not 100% sure if that's true. I will do more research on this for the formal review, but very, very smooth right off the bat. Wash pouch has a ton of space and compartment. So huge space here has a couple little drop pockets here with this like plasticky mesh looks like fencing. Uh, there's a few little compartments here, two compartments here, kind of like little drop pockets. Again, another zippered compartment with some extra organization. There's the other compartment here with some more organization. There's some, what looks like maybe a razor holder or a toothbrush holder. Really, there is a ton of space here. But I think there might be too much space. I come from using a Bellroy wash uh, kit or toiletry kit, and it's pretty compact. This thing, if you have a lot of stuff to carry for your toiletries, this, is, this might be perfect. But I found that it was pretty big. In fact, I was trying to convince my wife to just put her toiletries in here because I do think that my toiletries plus her toiletries would have fit in here. There is a ton of space here, ton of organization, really cool. One of the interesting things about Peak Design is that they include a lot of organization with their accessories and with their bags. And that could be controversial because I know for me, I don't often use a lot of the inbuilt organization that bag manufacturers or bag makers or designers put in because I normally carry stuff in my own pouches. I know where everything is. And really a lot of bag designers for some reason think that everybody is using a Mac. So they tailor organization to Mac adapters, to Mac accessories, or they feel that everybody's a photographer, that everybody has memory cards and stuff like that. I don't. I don't have a Mac. I use a Surface Book, and I'm not a professional photographer. So there's a lot of organization that's geared to that. What's cool about Peak Design and a lot of what they do is, you know, if I don't want to use this organization that's here, I don't have to, and it doesn't really get in the way. And we're going to see that a little bit in the travel backpack. So anyways, this is their wash pouch. Ton of space here. You can put a ton of stuff in here. 
Okay, the star of the show, the Peak Design Travel Backpack, 30 liter. It's not exactly 30 liter when it's cinched up and kind of compressed the way it is now. It's about 27 liter, but then there is a zipper that goes, goes all around that kind of expands it out. And then I think it becomes at that point 32, 33, 34 liters. I will have to do a little bit more research on the exact numbers on that, but it does expand it out a little bit to give it extra space. But here is the form of it. Black colorway. Here you have like this just very stealthy all black front. You have this little peak design accent here. Like I said, I prefer their blue colorway because in blue you would get like a natural leather here, like a little pop of color. I kind of wish they would have used a different leather here. I understand this is very stealthy. If you are the type of person that doesn't want to be noticed when they're traveling, this might be an excellent colorway for you. So in the front, you have these latch points. One of the things about this backpack is that there's latch points everywhere. And that is really cool because I know for me, when I travel a lot on my big trips, I travel often to Europe in the fall or the winter or the spring where it's a little chillier. I normally take a jacket with me. I can cinch the jacket somewhere on the front or in the bottom, and it doesn't take up space on the inside. I could probably travel for a few weeks in Europe with 31 liters and a jacket strapped to the outside. So let's go on the outside of this bag first. So here it goes, front, nice, latch points, side. I was a little worried that there wasn't gonna be a lot of space for the bottle pocket, but I was able to put pretty much my water bottle or my energy drinks in both pockets, even when this was packed out. I was a little worried about that at first, that with a packed out bag, I wasn't going to be able to put in the bottle, but no issues, it worked fine. Nice side handle here, which I did use. Both sides are the same. So this side is the same as this. This bag is, a, is pretty much symmetrical. So what you get on one side, you're gonna get on the other. So you have these two side handles, two bottle pockets. Now in the back, you might notice something in that the straps are not out. Kind of like it's big brother or big sister, the 45 liter travel backpack, you have the ability to tuck the straps inside. At first I wondered, am I ever going to use this? Like what is the point of being able to tuck the straps into the backpack? And I'll tell you what, that I used it multiple times. So for instance, when I put this in my trunk, which has a bunch of my IT equipment and stuff in there to reduce like the straps getting caught on anything, I just tucked the straps in, slipped it on top of some routers, no problem, easy to go. I can see that in an airplane, tucking the straps in underneath, if you're putting this underneath the seat, would also be really nice too because under the seat's really gross. So you can tuck the straps in and then maybe just wipe all of this down with some Clorox wipes or whatever. So at first I thought that this feature was kind of nonsense, but it actually ended up being pretty useful. There's a handle here, which could also serve as a luggage pass-through. And then also you have this top handle and it feels really nice to the hand. It's, it almost feels like it's gel inside, but no, it's just webbing that's folded in over itself, uh, but it still feels really, really nice. There's some latch points here. There's a little ID slot here. I don't know, if, I, I, don't, I doubt I would ever put anything in here, but if you feel comfortable putting some kind of ID, maybe a train card or something like that, that might work for you. So let's take out the strap. So I know that Peak Design stuff is pretty controversial in that people say that it's not comfortable. Mileage may vary because I don't need super beefy Goruck straps for my bags. In fact, some of the most comfortable straps I have ever used in a bag were thin straps very similar to this one. 
The Heim Planet Motion Arc has thin straps, but it's probably one of the most comfortable carries that I've ever had. Same thing, the Bellroy Apex, thin straps, very comfortable carry. So this has thin straps. I didn't carry this for a long period of time, but from what I did carry, I had zero issues with it. There's also a sternum strap that comes with this. I took it out because I don't tend to use sternum straps a lot, even with a travel backpack. So I took out the sternum strap. So here you have these two straps. You see here the how thin they are. They're both thin in terms of the width and then thin in terms of the density of it. Still, they have this nice contour, so it really is nice um, along the body, especially for short people. I noticed that for myself, this worked really well. This tightens and loosens very easily. I had zero issue with this. This worked really well for me. And what I did notice, and it's an issue that I have with a lot of bags, is that when I flip the bag over to put it on, it loosens. I didn't experience that with this bag. And I've experienced that with a lot of bags. It's the reason why I got rid of my Bellroy, Tran Bellroy Transit Plus is that as I was using it, the straps would loosen up. I didn't notice that with this. So really nice to see. So I'll test this out a little bit more. I have some other trips coming up. So probably I'll have a more formal review in the next three months, more or less, because I would have traveled quite a bit um, in that time period. Okay, let's go to the top. So here is a kind of like admin section. It doesn't go very deep. I mean, it's pretty much like the length of my hand. There's a zippered pocket here with some organization. I, I imagine this is for different memory cards, but nice little mesh here. There is some kind of drop pockets here, which I guess they're for adapters for laptops. But again, this looks like Apple sized stuff. My Surface adapter does not fit in any of these, not in any appreciable way. And then you have this capacity here. This did fit all, the, all my tech needs, but I will show you why I wasn't a huge fan of this implementation. I'll need to see how this works for a more longer trip, but I'll get into that in a second. I will also say that I kind of wish there was maybe an outside, an exterior access point that was a little bit longer, maybe to put documents. Cause you know, when I carry my passports, I have a passport in like a little folio that has all of my family's passports, that doesn't fit in here. I would have liked maybe kind of like in the Wandered Provoke, this uh, maybe like, or, or even the Evergoods uh, CPL, that you have like a long vertical zipper and then maybe, like e even if it's like a thin pocket, something where I could put something a little bit bigger. So let's open up this bad boy. Again, zippers, super smooth. I love it. Here is the main capacity of the bag. So here you see different latch points. I don't know if you could see them here. Latch point, latch point, latch point. If you want to use peak designs, packing cubes and stuff like that, you can put them all in there or whatever, whatever you're closing, you can latch them in. That way they stay nice and tight and they're not moving around. But you have all this organization. You have a zippered pocket here with this plasticky mesh. You have another zipper pocket here, another one here. That's kind of like a dual pocket. It's like one zipper, but there's two separate compartments. Same, same thing here, one zipper, two separate compartments. That's what I was saying, that this is a symmetrical bag. What you get on one side, you're gonna get on the other side. Here's the issue that I had with the tech kit, or the tech, area so if i open this up notice my hand if i have like an adapter and stuff in here it pushes up on here 
So I might have maybe what looks about like six inches or so of depth, but anything here is not going to have that amount of depth. It's going to be a little bit less because there's going to be stuff kind of pushing up against it. That's what I noticed with this first kind of go around with, with the bag. That might not be a big deal, but it's just something to consider. I, I kind of wish that exterior pockets and stuff like that would have its own volume and not eat into the main compartment. Here we have the laptop compartment. So here you have a laptop sleeve that goes not all the way down, there's a false bottom, but then there is kind of like a tablet sleeve too. This has no padding. This is just a piece of fabric that separates the compartment into laptop and tablet. Some people are saying, well, it should have been padded because tablet, you don't want a tablet running up against your laptop. But really, who has a tablet that doesn't have a case on it? Just about everybody I know has a case on their iPad. So I don't know how big of a consideration that is. I, for me, it doesn't matter because I don't have a tablet. I have a Kindle. Um, my Surface Book is my tablet. So my Surface fit perfectly in here, no problem. It was really good carry here. So it kind of ends up here. So even if you drop the bag, the floor is not going to meet your, your laptop. So here you see Peak Design Travel Backpack 30. So let me close this up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that expansion that I talked about. So at the bottom of the bag, you'll see, okay, here we go. At the bottom of the bag, you'll see this zipper here. This goes all around. And it expands the bag just a bit. It's not a huge expansion, but it's enough that if you are traveling in the winter or you need to carry a couple more things, maybe a suit jacket, an extra pair of pants, some other stuff, this would work really, really nicely. So here you go. This is like about 32 liters more or less, but then when you close it up, it's about 27 liters. So I imagine what you can do is you get to your destination, you toss all your stuff out into the hotel on the bed, you cinch this up, and now it's your day bag. It's a little big as a day bag, but if that's all you're going to take, if this is your one bag travel bag, then you know what? It's not, it's not a big deal. It's perfectly fine. Let me put it on and let's see how this looks. So, so Peak Design Travel Backpack 30 liters. Looks pretty good, you know? It, these straps do dangle a little bit, so probably I would get some Tom Bin strap keepers to keep the straps down. But what's kind of cool is that they're easy to cinch up. Me, I like my bags high and tight, but maybe what I'd like to do is loosen them when I want to take it off. So you see, it's really easy to loosen. And then once I put it on, just cinch up. Really easy to loosen, really easy to cinch up, really easy to loosen. So really cool stuff. So again, Peak Design Travel Backpack. 30 liter. This could be your one bag travel solution for shorter trips. Or if you're an expert one bag traveler, I mean, this is pretty much all you would need for, for a couple weeks, a few weeks, a month um, abroad. Again, so what I'm going to do is I have two or three trips coming up in the next three months. I am going to take this with me on all those trips. And I'm actually going to take this to work with me because I want to see if using the straps over time produces strain on my shoulders, strain on my back. I want to see what all the fuss is about because a lot of people do talk about the straps not being comfortable. I want to put it through its paces 
and see how that works. And one of the use cases that I'm going to be using it for is I'm going on a cruise with my family. And when you're boarding a cruise, you're pretty much wearing your backpack for a long time. I want to see how this feels after a long time. I don't know for the cruise, I won't be able to one bag travel with this, but this is going to be my main backpack. I have a couple other trips that this would be my one bag travel. But yeah, again, front, very clean, stealthy, bottle pocket, stowable straps, tech compartment, tons of latch points everywhere, handle on the bottom, handle on the top, handle on the side, handle on the back. So this really is designed to be a travel backpack. And of course, Peak Design loves their photographers. So there's a lot of features that are geared to photographers. I'm not a photographer, so I'm going to take this as a travel backpack. All right, guys, I'm looking forward to putting this through its paces. And if you have any questions, something that you want me to talk about or look at specifically for the main review, let me know and I will do it. All right, take it easy. See you soon.